Hello this is Mark from tradingform.com and welcome to this video on how to calculate the average directional index. So we have a chart on the screen showing the price that is moving upwards in a fairly strong trend here at the beginning before it gets stuck in a range highlighted by the red box then breaks out of the range and recommences its upward trend. We have the ADX, the Average Directional Index Indicator at the bottom and we can see that the ADX is responding to this movement upwards by climbing higher, it responds to the range by moving lower and then when we get back into the trend at the end here we can see the ADX rising again. Now the ADX doesn't look at the direction of the price movement it just looks at whether or not the price is moving strongly in one direction in other words if there's an upward trend or a downward trend and goes higher in that case and if the price is stuck in a range then the ADX will move lower so it makes it a good indicator to check whether or not that the price is trending you can calculate the ADX using Excel and I've got a spreadsheet open here with some historic price data and I'm starting off with the true range. True range is part of the ATR calculation and there is a link on the screen to one of my previous videos which shows how to calculate this. I'm going to use a slightly different version of the ATR here to what I calculated in the previous video and it's going to be slightly different because we're using a different type of average. Here I'm going to use a smoothed average, which is the average preferred by J. Wells Wilder, the creator of the ADX indicator. So in the first cell here I put the formula equals average, and then I've highlighted the first 14 pieces of data. And the next one here I'm going to start the smoothed moving average. And we do this by taking the previous day's average, multiplying it by number of periods minus one and we're going to use this N2 as our reference cell and so we use the form we use F4 to make this an absolute reference cell. We put all this in brackets I'm going to add to it the current period and put it in brackets again. I'm going to divide it all by the number of periods F4. There we have our first smooth moving average. I can copy the formula down to the cells below by clicking on the bottom right hand corner of the cell. In this next cell here I'm going to calculate the high minus the previous high. And next to it I'm going to calculate the previous low minus the low. So this is a fairly straightforward calculation. We just take the high here and subtract that high there. And here we do it the other way around, take the previous low and subtract the current low. Okay, and we can copy these down. And these next cells, these next columns, I'm going to calculate the positive dx and negative dx. I'm going to do this using a if and statement so I'm going to put in the formula equals if bracket and bracket this is greater than this and this is greater than zero close bracket comma and enter this value if not then just enter zero I'm going to do the same here I'm going to put equals and if this is greater than this and this is greater than zero then enter this value and if not just enter zero and again copy these down okay so in our next column here we're going to calculate our smooth plus dx smooth negative dx and again I'm going to use 14 periods in fact I'm just going to take the 14 from here so we only need to change one cell 
and I'm going to use the same formula that I did previously and I'm going to put in equals average these first 14 cells and then I'm going to put equals this multiplied by this f4 minus 1 put that in brackets add to it our rather our current period put all this in brackets and then divide it by this f4 just going to copy these two across here sorry this should have referenced the plus dx column just going to copy these two across here and copy this across and then we just copy these down so now we have a smooth version of our positive dx and a smooth version of our negative dx as well next column here I'm going to create the positive DMI and this column here. I'm going to put in the negative DMI or directional movement index. And we do this by simply taking our positive DX, smooth, and dividing it by our average true range. Putting both of these into a bracket and multiplying them by 100. We can do the same here. We're going to take our negative smooth dx, divide it by our average true range, put it into brackets, and multiply it by 100. I'm going to copy these down. Okay, this is quite an important part of the ADX, the plus DMI and minus DMI. We can use these to indicate which way the trend is going. Okay, so in our second to last column here, we're going to calculate the dx or directional index. And we calculate the directional index using the formula ABS for absolute value. So that means it's always going to be a positive number of this minus this. And then we divide that by the sum of these two again. And we want this to be a number between 0 and 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply it by 100. And we can copy these down. So our last column here, we're going to put in the ADX, the Average Directional Index. And again, we're going to use a smoothing uh, average here. And I'm going to go down 14 cells. I'm going to put it in exactly the same as before, equals average. And then copy these 14 cells here. And then I'm going to use the formula equals this multiplied bracket minus one. Again I'm going to make this an absolute reference cell by pressing F4. I'm going to add to it our current period. And I'm going to divide the whole thing by this F4. So that's the calculation for the ADX, Average Directional Index, including the positive and negative DMI. If you're interested in learning how to calculate more technical indicators using Excel and how to backtest trading strategies, my ebook course is available in the Amazon Kindle store. It's called How to Backtest a Trading Strategy Using Excel. And there is a link on the screen if you would like more information. And for more information about the financial markets, trading using Excel, please go to www.tradeinformed.com.